So in this example, um, again, we need to take the integral of sine of x. And um, remember, ladies and gentlemen, that the uh, derivative of cosine of x is opposite of sine of x. So therefore, if we're taking the integral of sine of x, that's going to be opposite of cosine of x. So you're going to have negative cosine of x, and we're going to evaluate from pi to 0. Okay. So therefore, we have negative cosine of pi minus um, negative cosine of 0. So now, basically what we need to do is go ahead and evaluate for each one of these. And um, if we go and again look at the unit circle, at pi, we're looking at this point, negative 1, comma 0. So we're going to have a minus a negative 1, because cosine of pi, the, the x-coordinate there, has minus a negative 1. And then at cosine of 0, is the point comma 1. But it's minus a negative, so that's plus 1. So you have 1 plus 1 equals 2. Case. OK. A lot of negatives going on there, right? A lot of negatives. <laughs>